Web. Welcome to the Hanging With Web Show. I'm G.W. Pomacher, and we are in the studio while Allie Ingerham we have sent to her very, very first convention. Very first pop culture convention. Now, we're in the studio. We're all a bunch of geeks, but Allie is just learning the ropes, and she's going to learn them at We Need a Hero Con at the Utica Children's Museum in upstate New York, where she is now surrounded, surrounded by every kind of freaking geek, cosplayers, comic creators, fans, and creators alike. Let's go to Ellie Ingerham and see who she's hanging with. Hey guys, we're here at the Children's Museum in Utica, New York at the HeroCon 2017 event fundraiser. All proceeds from today and tomorrow's HeroCon event go to support the Utica Children's Museum. The atmosphere is electric. There are creators of all industries here. We have artists, authors, actors, directors, performers, you name it, they're here supporting this great cause. Right now, we are here talking with and hanging with Jane Heidemeyer, actress, phenomenal person. <laughs> Thank you. So I'll tell you later. <laughs> Hi, guys. Nice to be here. Jane, tell us uh, what's your latest project. Um, I'm actually about to start a new movie for um, the Movie Network in Canada and also for the Lifetime in the States called Separated at Birth uh, with um, a really great cast. So I'm starting next week and uh, kind of excited about that. But it's really great to be here at this event for an important cause for the Utica Children's Museum. Yes. So, yeah. Yes. Um, what's the favorite, your most favorite role you've ever played? Wow, I've been so fortunate to play um, a number of great roles that I've just really enjoyed. Um, one I did recently that I, I had fun with was uh, called Maps of the Stars, a David Cronenberg movie with uh, Julianne Moore and Robert Pattinson. It was a Carrie Fisher. Oh, yeah. Um, it was all about a Hollywood, and uh, so I played uh, Julianne Moore's rival, like a rival actress. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Very memorable. Yeah. 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 Had a good time with that. Uh, how do you prepare for a role? Um, I read the script many, many, many times, and just have uh, I go on instinct more than anything else. You know, my first impression of the character. And then I flesh it out, maybe do re research if I need to, um, depending on what the character is doing as a, as a living. I mean, uh, I played a lot of uh, police women, mm -hmm. so um, I've done a lot of training in that sense. Um, so it really depends on the character. I also, uh, I find uh, wardrobe is really important. I kind of work from the outside in as well. It just kind of helps reflect the character and gives you a sense of who they are. And, um, and uh, run lines over and over and over. And, uh, and then at the end of the day, just try and be in the moment and be spontaneous, you know, yeah. in the scene. So. Oh. Um, what's the funniest thing that's ever happened to you on a set? <laughs> Mm. I've got many stories there. I have to see. Let's see. Okay, children's. Um, well, uh, I was actually working with uh, Dean McDermott, who is uh, Tori Spelling's yes, husband. Yes, yes. Uh, he was a guest star on, on a show I did called Earth Final Conflict. And um, <laughs> we did, uh, I think it was season five, and uh, Renee was in this courtroom scene. It was a big ensemble cast that day. And um, Dean decided he had a remote fart machine. Oh. <laughs> so he would set it up, you know, in the corners, and we'd be watching, and then he'd just kind of trigger it, and then just watch the responses. Oh, my <laughs> So we had a, gosh. yes, I was killing myself. Oh. Yeah, we all were. We all, on this side of the room, not on the other side of the room. <laughs> um, do you have any dream roles that you haven't done yet that you want to do? Oh, that's any, a great question. Any dream actor you'd like to work with? Dream actor. Ah, that's a really good question. Uh, so many. I mean, I, I still love Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, old school. Yeah, you know? the old, old yeah, school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was yeah. fortunate to work with uh, Gary Sinise in uh, oh, Snake yeah. Eyes. Oh, I love him. Brian De Palma yes. film. So that was a lot of fun. Yes. Um, who's your, I know this is a hard one too because there's so many, but do you have a 
like a, someone that you idolized, actress, uh, actor that you, before you began your career, that you kind of... Oh, before I began. Um, I like Jessica Lange back then. Yeah. I was really, like, really loved her work. And, uh, and I, I think it's great that she has this longevity. And I just watched her recently in um, it's, uh, The Feud. It was, uh, uh, she played... Um, oh, God. Um, I'm trying to think of her name. Um, Joan Crawford. Thank you. Oh, Sorry. Yes. yes. Oh, Joan, Couldn't grab yes. her name. Yeah, uh, and it was really great to watch her and Susan Sarandon, who was playing mm -hmm. Betty Davis. Um, so she was oh. fun. Yeah, she's somebody I admired. Yeah. yeah. Hardest role you've ever done? Um, I think you know, it, just starting off. I, my first show was Sirens. It was for ABC. It was playing a cop. So it was a lot of physicality, and it was my first time out the gate. So I was really learning on the spot. So it was. Uh, it, 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 there was a lot of. A lot to do, and then, um, at the same time, it was very rewarding because I learned on the spot as I went along. Uh, as I go along. What was it like to be a part of Roddenberry's production? Well, I think it was an honor, and I still consider it an honor to be a part of a Gene Roddenberry show because uh, Major Roddenberry actually found some writings that he'd done and decided to create the show from his writings. So it's all his original ideas oh, yes. and work and concept. Yes. And um, it was phenomenal. I mean, uh, I met her, I had a chance to work with her, and we had a great cast. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, this, the show ran five years. I was on it from uh, season three, four, and five. So um, it was a great run and uh, really just an inspiring show, you know? Yeah. yeah. Now they want to know, what is it like working with Kevin Sorbo? <laughs> well, <laughs> take a guess. The guy's hot. <laughs> we had a little romance going. It didn't last very long, but uh, on Andromeda. And I played uh, Aaron Shohashi, I think that was her name, if I remember correctly. And yeah, we had a great time. He's so easy, he's so much fun. Uh, really relaxed, easy to work with, great sense of humor. Um, yeah, great guy. Yeah, it's awesome. And what's coming up soon? Okay, this, this is a new movie I'm starting. Um, it's with Paige Turco, who's in the show called The Hundred. The Hundred? And um, I play kind of like a Kellyanne Conway type of character, political figure, um, kind of in opposition to her character. Um, and I can't say too much because, yeah, she's, yeah so, but it, it's going to be fun. Color. I'll be out this year sometime, so. <laughs> okay, showrunner yes. GW, who is watching us, is a huge fan of the science fiction work from Ed Armada. And Armada. We love us some. Love you back. <laughs> what was your. Oh, this is ClickBit. You know what ClickBit is? No. These are when you troll the internet and you click on a link and it takes you somewhere where you don't want to go. Okay. That's. What's your favorite, biggest oh, pet biggest peeve? Pet peeve. Oh, God. Um. um <laughs> I'm not being able to come up with a pet peeve when I need to. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Favorite season or holiday? Christmas your, time. Christmas. I love Christmas. Yeah. Spirit of giving. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. do. I do. Yeah. It's easy. Next. Yeah. <laughs> What's the weirdest prank you ever uh, had that you ever made or had made on you? Had made it well. Um, <laughs> prank made on me. Um, have you uh, acted with a lot of pranksters on the set? I, I know you know, it's like fun. little things, you know. Um, well, like the fart machine was one. Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Although, luckily, I was on the other side of that prank. Uh, it's more fun being on the other side. And, oh, my uh, goodness. There you go. Oh. Hey, guys, it's been so much fun hanging with uh, Jane Heitmeyer today. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think of today's show and our guest. You can also check the guest link below. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Allie. That was amazing. As we wrap it up here, we want to say thanks to our friends at Something Unique Magazine, the Florida Book News, Wordfire Press, Space Coast Comics, Famous Faces and Funnies, all the folks who share these videos on the World Wide Web. We've been hanging with Allie Ingerham from the floor of We Need a Hero Con in upstate New York. I'm GW Pomacher. Remember, subscribe, log on, tune in, and see who we're hanging with next. Wow.
Thank <laughs> you.